Hello everyone, welcome back to YK Reviews as we're continuing the Hellraiser franchise movie reviews we get on to Hellraiser 5 Inferno so let's get into it and as you can tell by my tone probably the vibes that you're most likely getting from this is that this one was brutal like these next couple of movies all psychological thriller type movies who which i honestly feel like should have been a completely separate movie not associated to hellraiser but these ones were very tough to get through so let's discuss hellraiser 5. so we get introduced to our main lead of the movie the main character detective joseph thorne we see him playing a chess match we see him in a locker room like snorting the white powder and he gets called to this crime scene and right from the bat like the movie tries to make you hate this character because of his personality and the things he does like he goes to this crime scene where this person is dead he explains with a smirk on his face how he used to bully this guy in school and then goes and like steals money from his wallet and then he goes and sees this finger in um in this crime scene too which is like a recurring thing as the movie progresses so then you see all of this and he goes and instead of spending like time with his family he goes home talks to his wife kisses his daughter good night and then goes and meets up with a woman in a hotel room and i'll leave it to your imagination of what they did so then after like he does his business there he's in the bathroom he's got the the, the lament configuration the puzzle box which he took from the crime scene um, earlier on so he's opening up the box playing with it he manages to then all of a sudden he sees himself in what i believe to be his childhood bedroom and then he gets introduced to the cinnabites of this movie and i really hate these cinnabites now you've got these two twin looking ones and then this legless one that's like the chatterer one but he just has no legs he's just on his arms like crawling around i just feel like the designs were just lazy like i did not enjoy these cinnabites one bit but you get introduced to like these ones you get a little glimpse of pinhead as well which is the only one you see until the end of the movie and then he wakes up the next day he then goes to work he gets a phone call from the lady that he met last night where she's saying that she's getting killed and he goes back to the hotel room so he comes to find out that this person this serial killer called the engineer is killing off these um, victims killing off this person here and once again leaves a finger at the crime scene so what he does is he as a great character that he is he asks his partner for help his partner who wants to help him he's trying to be a good partner goes and tries to like help him with this crime scene and what does this guy do he takes a cigarette box he takes some um, these things and he f tries to frame his partner who out of goodwill went to go help this guy he goes and frames him so then as like the movie's progressing this guy is going to like try and figure out what's going on trying to find out who this engineer is he goes to his drug dealer who is this guy who's got an ice cream van with let's just say very interesting pictures on his in, inside his ice cream van and he's then at this um bar um where this kid comes in gives him a videotape which he decides to go and just play the videotape inside the bar showing this serial killer guy with like this mask with like a black tongue sticking out i don't know if he's supposed to be a cinnabine or whatever he is but it's just like you can tell it's somebody in a mask and this psychological thriller going on with this serial killer here he then comes to find out that the ice cream his drug dealer the ice cream guy is dead and that there's a finger inside like one of the boxes there continuing that trend so this guy as he continues his investigation here goes to this place where everybody's like playing i believe poker or something like that and he goes and has this confrontation with two cowboys <laughs> Generally, two cowboys 
I'll be in him up while the Cenobites are watching from a tree. And you go and see his partner being killed by this Cenobite serial killer with the black tongue here and he's just going crazy seeing this therapist and this therapist like is basically pinhead in disguise because you come to find out that he sees his wife and daughter in like this wooden thing being frozen to death as they're like they're rotating and pinhead's just explaining to him this psychological torture that he's going through coming to find out which i think everybody realized that the serial killer was actually him that the cinnabite thing he takes off his mask and it's actually him looking back at himself and because basically there's even one point where he goes to like visit his parents but once again it's like the parents aren't there you just see blood on the bed goes to his childhood bedroom he then comes pinhead basically explains to him that the engineer is a manifestation of his own cruelty and that he's going to be in eternity in eternity of hell living the same day over and over again because you come to find out that like he wakes up sees the woman still alive goes to work gets a phone call and is basically living the same day over and over again in his own eternal hell and i breezed past the plot of this movie because honestly this did not feel like a hellraiser movie whatsoever it just felt like a serial killer playing with this detective trying to figure each other out and then adding pinhead at the end to make a hellraiser movie and that's what the most frustrating thing is it's like these psychological thrillers torture whatever you want to call it just was very hard to get through and this character in itself too it's just not that enjoyable it's a pit of a prick to be honest so i did not have a good time with this movie whatsoever it just felt like such a down slope versus the first four movies so for me if you do want to watch this movie you are a brave brave sob and i recommend and i commend you for watching this movie if you do want to go watch this movie but i would not recommend this movie whatsoever it's just this along with the next two and some of the other ones as well just take a huge dip but this is my thoughts and my opinions of this movie if you do enjoy this movie please let me know like if there's something i missed or i didn't get let me know down in the comment section below why you enjoyed this movie if you've seen the movie too let me know down your thoughts as well but again thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for listening if you haven't already hit that subscribe button hit the like button hit that notification bell with so much more of the rest of the hellraiser franchise reviews coming out so keep an eye out on the channel there but again this is why care reviews peace